But with a new administration comes a brand new philosophy for change. News 13's Jeff Todd sat down with the governor's pick for public education secretary. Turns out she has a plan to shake up the state school system. Jeff? Hannah Scandera has held a number of high-profile education jobs in politics for the last six years. But now, as she gets ready to work in New Mexico, she says she has some real answers to the state's education problem. I came to New Mexico with a sense of urgency about education. I'm passionate about it. And it's going to take passion to move New Mexico out of the cellar. Education Secretary-designate Hannah Scandera says recent studies show a dismal outlook. New Mexico received an F in K-12 achievement and was rated 50th out of our great nation uh, in regards to opportunities for success. But she's bringing ideas to turn that around. We've got an indictment, if you will, to create change in education here. Are we being transparent and accountable? Do we know exactly what's going on in our classrooms and for our students and with our teachers and leaders? One of the ways Scandera plans to let parents know what's going on inside the schools is by grading them, and teachers too. What if the teacher who had a second grade level student actually added a year and a half's worth of progress? That's excellent. Let's reward that. Giving a school that's doing an excellent job an A, a B, a C, or when we're failing, give them an F. Scandera says that will help find schools that need the most help from the state, district, community, and even private sector. But she also wants to see that improvement in the classroom throughout the state, starting with literacy. Between the beginning of school and third grade, our students are learning to read. After the third grade, they're reading to learn. What happens if they never learn to read well? We're setting our students up for failure. We've got no more. Put kids first, and when we put kids first, New Mexico will win. Scandera says she wants to put an emphasis on three, three grades, third, fifth, and eighth. If kids aren't proficient at their grade level, she doesn't want to see them pushed on through the system, and she says that's how we can see marked improvement quickly. Tim, back to you. Thank you, Jeff. Those goals may be hard to achieve. The state's budget crisis has put tens of millions of education dollars on the chopping block.